Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Outer Worlds where we head in and have a semi-illegal thing going on here, right? Oh, just hear me out. It's a brilliant idea. Is this about king hunting? We've been over this before. It's a terrible idea. Not now, please. I'm a little too busy, you know, being the master of ceremonies. I was so looking forward to that new program by Alexa. I can't believe it's been cancelled. Hello, why is this not sealing? I'm sorry about that then. Okay, that needs to be picked. Oh, don't tell me. Okay, that would have been absolutely amazing. Okay, now go on with our quest here. I'm sorry. Do you know the interesting thing about Canid shows? Um, I'm interested anything. Trick question, there isn't anything interesting about Kenneth just That's nice, yeah. Oh, but there is. If one possesses an eye for statistics. Mathematically speaking, the interesting thing about Kenneth shows is this. They're an exercise in futility. Winning is predetermined. Over time, the inevitable trend is that the race goes to the swift. Time and chance are just statistical outliers. In other words, if you put enough Canids through enough trials, the one with the most optimal attributes generally wins. Exercise in futility. Are you Clarence mostly? Yep. Why are you telling me this? Yeah. No, oh, I've been told I should try to socialize more. Sharing an interesting fact is a proven method of endearing oneself to a stranger. I'm an actuary, you see. Well, not entirely. The actuarial sciences are more of a passion than a profession. So I suppose that makes me... Mostly an actuary. That's a bit of a family joke. I'm Clarence Mostly. Um, I've been looking for you. Uh, the last known member of Project Gorgon. I'm looking for information about Project Gorgon. The name sounds familiar. Mostly fine furniture company, right? Let's go with intelligence. Yes, that's us. Mostly oak trees, too. My grandfather invented them, you know. Well, no, he didn't invent mostly oaks, but he did purchase the naming rights back during the terraforming days. It's essentially the same thing. Okay, um, first one. Oh, <clears throat> then you're not here about my monograph. It's true, I was involved with Project Gorgon, but that chapter of my life is long since closed. Listen, I don't know what you want with Gorgon or with me, but let me give you some free advice, hmm? Let the past go. Live in the moment. Enjoy the party. The man... The man manufactories on emergency lockdown, I need your help with it. We're a bit late, some mysterious figure already sent me cryptic warnings. Why? What's got you so frightened? The first one is good, the first one is good right? Lifting the lockdown won't be easy. You'll need to send overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. I don't have that level of clearance, but I know two people who do. The trouble is, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I washed my hands of Gorgon, and you're asking me to dirty them all over again. I'm going to need a good reason. I was hired to find a journal. I'm just trying to do my job. Something terrible happened on Gorgon. I'm just trying to uncover the truth. How's this far? Um, this for a reason, I'm really heavily armed. Um, Project Gorgon created the Marauders. You can just walk away from that, yeah. Yes, the birthplace of the Marauders. And a graveyard for all our mistakes. Starting Project Gorgon was our first mistake. Trying to bury Project Gorgon while it's still very much alive and clawing its way back to the surface? That may be our last mistake. Nobody has to know you're involved. Give me that, what I want, and I'll be on my way. That's good, yeah. I want a favor from you. Do something for me, and I'll do something for you. That way, we don't have to rely on mutual trust. 
a grand prize trophy to the Canid Review. I want it in my hands. Get me that trophy, and I'll give you the remaining researchers. Names, locations, as much information as I have. What's so important about that trophy? My canid, Laplace, is statistically superior to every other canid in this review. Better average sprinting time, superior gait coefficient, optimal anatomical symmetry. I didn't bother entering little Laplace in this pointless contest. He's already won on paper, you see. That trophy rightfully belongs to him. Um, that might be the most Byzantium thing I've ever heard. Oh, you're much too kind. Does this mean you'll do it? I'll be back with the trophy. Yeah. Head into the main hall and take the elevator down into the maintenance tunnels. You'll find a service passage that leads up into the trophy room. The maintenance tunnel is the only way up into the trophy room. Some technician barred the door shut on our end. Ask Tilda Coatsworth about it, over by the podium. I know what I'm doing, Clarence. Oh, you're quite welcome. I look forward to observing your results. Okay, do we have What's something? On your mind? At the moment, nothing. I have a one-track mind. I can't stop thinking about that trophy. Why isn't it in my hands? When is it going to be in my hands? And so on and so forth. You get me that best-in-show trophy, and it'll clear my mind right up. We, um, go with the eye. My eye! I was wondering where I'd misplaced that old thing. It's perfectly preserved, you know. Every eye possesses unique dimensions, not unlike a fingerprint. The circumference, the shape, the color of the iris. An eye makes excellent proof of identification, assuming you don't mind removing one. Uh, how did you lose it? Yeah. I'd rather not get into the details. If Spacer's Choice ever asks you to test out their new model of monocle, just say no. Okay, let's give it back. Well, that's rather responsible of you. I'll put a good word in your permanent record. Okay, good. But we don't have one, right? Okay, I guess... And for a second... I wanted to say we... Wait a second, are they? What is this? Why can we steal all this stuff? I don't get it. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get rich here. Look at all that hero bottles and all the other bottles not labeled in the back. We go on in a second, you boys. Don't worry. I just want to hear this satisfying, satisfying sound of removing the bottles. Imagine that you're sitting at a bar and someone walks by and steals um, everything in front of you. Could this be stealing too? Good, okay, on it goes, on it goes. You don't have to be scared of these canids, Captain. Now, Anubis, you must ah, okay, this is, I assume, the trophy, right? 6000 XP. Amazing. So, um, what I check, um, journal. Okay, I just wanted to check if there's something optional. I'm sorry that your helmet is so dirty, Yoka. 
These are actually very, very important pieces. This I can tell you. Okay, this is maybe... Ah, okay, we need a key card, obviously. System. It's always what I loved about this game, <laughs> that, I mean, actually, the shooting you should hear upstairs, right? Well, on the other hand, I do not know what kind, oh, there's a keycard, what kind of soundproofing they have. Scattered animal sanitation, repair, mask family vault, applied killer pain, scented floor wax, appraised area to, in accordance with Presuntium, aesthetic standards, relocated garbage, installed anti-dissident, automatic tangles in order to ensure moral and civil hygiene, tempering with altering or otherwise disabling moral hygiene, automatic tangles is strictly prohibited under board regulations, delivered complimentary mint. I maybe could have sneaked in here. And before we use the elevator, I just want to check one or two more things. And that is A, two more things to be utterly precise. This is where we came from, right? Why didn't I do... Okay, I probably have ever seen one. And the second thing I wanted to check is what is actually here. What is it just a way to... S okay, we could have sneaked around here. So signs of domestic and extensive grooming, yeah. Who would have guessed, right? Okay, to the elevator, so that's nice. We had some nice conversations, we had a little fight with robots, and that is good, and maybe still have two around two minutes remaining. Let's use the elevator. And maybe I gotta need to sneak, right? I reckon being Let's seen here the rocks. ain't good, right? All that pomp and circumstance out there. For this, the hell's the point? Okay. Come now, Anubis. You must hurt him. For the last remaining minutes, we are gonna give it to him, although you I do not like that. Oh, little boy. Never cared much for hors d'oeuvres. The word is just grotesque. All those superfluous letters ruin my appetite. Yep. Um it's a very grotesque world indeed today. I found dead canids in the service tunnels, you know anything about that? Dead canids in the service tunnels? Domesticated canids? Why, that's utterly revolting. You're telling me you had nothing to do with it, Air? Yeah. My dear friend, I would not dream of hurting a canid. Every canid, regardless of their physical attributes, is a companion to their master. To kill a companion is a profound and unforgivable breach of trust. I'm glad I chose not to participate in this loathsome canid review. I will, however, take their trophy. 
Okay, that's a lucky day, Clarence. I've got the trophy. My trophy! Look at this thing! Have you ever seen a more garish monument to the boredom of the elite? If only Grandfather Mostly were alive today, I would have loved to wave this trophy right in front of his cataracts. I hope you won't take it personally when I say I had my doubts about you. Nothing ever gets done in Byzantium, you see. Competent work is, well, a statistical anomaly. Okay, I kept my end of the bargain. I expect, it, I expect you to keep yours. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the Chem Lab and Human Inquiry. Access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers. Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed, but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. Calculated? We keep all sorts of data on a permanent record. Spending habits, dietary restrictions, movement. Finding a person is no more complicated than solving an equation. After the project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. Okay, so these um, are the only two left. Are some... We haven't been able to uh, let go of Project Gorga Gorgon either. Nonsense. I just needed a good old-fashioned statistical problem to busy my mind. Keeps the faculties lubricated. Okay, are they the only survivors? Yeah. As far as I know, Jasper Lowe and Marion Blakesley are the only two surviving researchers with high-level clearance. If you want to lift the lockdown on the manufactory, you'll need to send an override from the Chem Lab and Human Inquiry. I'm afraid it's the only way. Okay, I need two different overrides. What's nothing to call me ever simple? I know it feels like you're being led on. What is that colorful metaphor commoners use? A wild sprat chase? Remember, this is Spacer's choice we're talking about. Their security protocols are just as inefficient and frustrating as their manufacturing. Alright, uh, let's have questions about them researchers. I'll tell you what I can. What um, do I need about Blakesley? Dr. Marion Blakesley supervised the human inquiry and auditing facility. Live subjects, measuring tape and syringes, that sort of thing. Someone sabotaged the facility. Blakesley tended her resignation and vanished. I'm reasonably certain she's hiding in a maintenance bay on Groundbreaker. Okay, um, you're asking me to trust you, Hunt. What about... Okay, let's just first of all go... Um, the question about Jasper. Dr. Lowe described himself as a dazzling genius in his review. I disagreed. Of the 19 criteria that constitute the rubric of genius, Dr. Lowe only met 15. After the project shut down, corporate traded him off to anti-Clio in exchange for five lab coats. He's been transferred to an orbital lab around Olympus. Well, uh, must have been some fancy <laughs> lab coat. Okay. Oh dear. How do I explain this without using too many syllables? Lab coats means scientists. It's a colloquial... It's slang. Let's get back on topic. You'll find Dr. Lowe in an orbital lab around Olympus. Okay. Certainly. What's on your mind? Um, okay. I had some questions. I'll tell you what I can. Anything interesting remaining? Dr. Lowe described himself as a dazzling genius in his review. I disagreed. Of the 19 criteria that constitute the rubric okay, of genius, that we already know. after the project shut down, our office gave Dr. Lowe and his team every opportunity to develop a drug under perfectly reasonable guidelines and generous deadlines. 
Dr. Lowe failed to meet our requests and largely succeeded in using our supply of drugs to get himself higher than the mortality rate of a line worker at a Saltuna cannery. Okay, that's Try all to we need. Caution. It's good for your lifespan. Thank you. Um, what an ass. Okay, that already leads us then to the end of this episode. In the next one, we are gonna head out and try to find the first one. The lady, I guess. But for now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next wonderful episode coming out tomorrow. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.